come down here to Triple Nine Automotive. Um, we were kind of bored on a Sunday, and uh, we figured we'd uh, throw the Lambo on the dyno here uh, and see what sort of power it puts out. Uh, as you know, factory horsepower is about 610 PS, which is 601 horsepower. So it'd be really interesting to see sort of what it actually lays down out the wheels. Um, one big factor with dynos is um, whether it's a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive, um, whether it's a roller type dyno or a hub dyno. Today we're using a roller dyno, so you'll have variables in there, um, factors like how hard it's strapped down on the dyno, the type of tyres it's got, whether it's all-wheel drive, whether it's two-wheel drive. Basically, the, the harder you strap down the dyno, it, obviously you'll lose more power. Um, so that's the one unfortunate thing with roller dynos. One of the fortunate things in it, it can simulate road a little bit better, um, which we talked about in another one of our videos um, with GT Auto Garage when we tuned the 180SX. So have a look at that video also. So today, the, like I said, make 600 horsepower at the fly, going through the all-wheel drive drivetrain um, and on a roller dyno. It'll be interesting to see what it puts out. I'm going to be guessing somewhere in the high 400 horsepower range, something like that. All right, so today the dyno we've been told is in shootout mode. It's a Dyno Dynamics dyno. Um, in shootout mode, it's actually usually quite a bit less power than when it's being tuned just because uh, it sort of gives a level playing field. It doesn't compensate for a lot of things as well. So we're going to throw this on the dyno, see what it puts down. We have three runs. Um, and see how it compares to some of the other cars that are here. And in the meantime, while we're waiting to go on, we're going to have a look around the car park and um, see what other cars are, are here. And be interesting to sort of see. There's some 35s, another Lambo here as well. Sounds like a VL bro. Oh my god, sick. Um, so yeah, let's get to it.
did three power runs and um, it's run a fair bit lower than what we would expect. We were expecting somewhere around the 480 to 500 horsepower at the wheels. Um, the results of this is showing 300 kilowatts at the wheels on each run, so 297, 299 and 300 kilowatts. That works out to be, I think it's pretty spot on 400 kilowatts or so, just a tad over. So 400 horsepower, uh, just a little bit over 400 horsepower at the wheels. That's, you know, like I said, it's a little bit lower than what we would have expected, but the bottom line is that um, it doesn't really matter that much because it's a level playing field for everybody here. Today's a dyno day, it's not being tuned. So if this one makes 400 horsepower of the wheels on the day, then, you know, a 700 horsepower car is probably going to make 500 horsepower of the wheels. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. It's bragging rights, I suppose. So we'll um, zoom in on this and I'll uh, post up another picture of it once uh, I scan it in or something. So this shows the power, and as you can see, each runs pretty much spot on. That's uh, the car maxes out at uh, 8,500 RPM, so that'll be pretty much spot on there. And uh, this is the air fuel ratio along here, showing a very flat air fuel ratio, which is to be expected. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, probably grab a few videos from some of the other cars um, that are up. I don't know what's up at the moment? I think it was a 35 GDR maybe, or an Evo. Um, so probably splice in a few videos of some of the other cars and um, post the results of the whole day. But uh, yeah, thanks uh, very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Street Effects TV.